can you solve today's SATS question? Now, today's SATS question is one of my favorite question types because they often get confused, but they're very, very easy to solve. And again, when we see times a thousand or times a hundred or times ten, it's remembering that we're not going, we're not jumping straight into some sort of grid multiplication, short multiplication, long multiplication. It's just place value. So all we're going to do is write this number out with its decimal and create a bit of a place value chart to solve the question. So again, we would do 13.05. We would place another decimal below for this is for the new number that we're creating. Because we're times by a thousand, every digit is going to move three places to the left and become larger. So the one essentially would go one, two, three. So I'm going to rewrite that here. One, three, zero, five, placeholder and zero. So my answer is 13,050. So that answer would be transferred into here, 13050. Zero, zero. And all we've done is multiply that number by the power of 10 three times, so a thousand. So we've made a jump of times 10, times 10, times 10, which is times a thousand. We've jumped along three places in terms of place value, becoming increasingly larger. That's very simple. And hopefully you know that you can do that for division as well times 10, sorry, divide by 10, we would move one space to the right, times by 100, we would move two place values to the right, and so on. Very, very simple, and that's another SATS question solved.